It's going to be one of those days. I don't mind one of those days because I can do something a bit creative with it possibly. That is work on the 800 with the manual. The proper workshop manual should help me get to the bottom of its current problem. And uh, also, surprise, surprise, another tripod issue. Yes, me and tripods, we don't go too well together, but I can fix it at least. It's not the tripod's fault, either this one or this one. No, the fault actually lies in the block that sits in the tripod that then holds onto the phone. Now this one, this wooden one has split. And I've tried gluing it together and it's not really worked. You may also notice that we have torrential rain today but I'm not going to mention that. Well, the uh, anyway, back to my tripod after just two minutes and the weather completely changing. What I need to do is make myself a new thing to go inside there. And I could make it out of wood or I could make it out of a bit of Saab wing. And I'm going to apply the method of measure twice, cut once or bend once in this case by carefully measuring and then measuring again. Wow, it's exactly... What? Yeah, 43. Brilliant. Now all I need to do is deploy, <laughs> deploy, get my paint marker pen out and do some marking. But, you know, I've only just got one and I can't find that either. I haven't decided on a dedicated drawer that they should go into. But while searching through the drawers, I did find this. And I was looking for that only last week. And now I'll put it back in that same drawer and probably forget. Brilliant! I've remembered where the marker pen is. I remember specifically putting it in there just the other day. Just the other day. And it is in uh, a box. And that's in the back of Toby Charles. And that's at home. Give it up on the Saab wing because it's just a bit too bent. So I found a nice piece of uh, metal here instead that will be uh, just a bit better. Ah, yep, so, um... Forty-three plus forty-three is indeed eighty-six. But, of course, when you're bending metal, then it's not really going to be 86 any longer. So it's always got to be just a, an, an, est an estimate, hasn't it, really? That's a good um, number. Much to my surprise, Mr. Angle Grinder is still plugged in from last time I used it. The Angle Grinder, of course, is a very, very useful tool in the workplace. Maybe it should have a name. I'm going to call it Stephen Fry. Ready for cutting number two? That's just filled my tea with shards of metal. Now then, I must admit I have spent quite a while filing and making this thing smooth so it's just right. This may seem somewhat pointless. Surely you can go to a camera shop and get this particular thing and it would cost a fiver. Whereas I've spent an hour making this. That's almost complete. I've just got to secure this in there. Now I could probably knock it in and it would be quite secure anyway. But maybe a bit of glue would be even better. This stuff not only looks like a prescription drug, but it, it smells like medicine as well. And now it is time to get back to cars. Back to the 820. Yes, indeed. And here we have the book to which I shall refer to to try and diagnose this particular issue. Issue. Might as well get on with it. Fuse number 13 checked. 
hell, there's nothing there. Nothing there at all. That's strange. Well, my tripod is now covered in petrol, so it's definitely got fuel, hasn't it? I thought I would check the plugs again. The only thing is, I'm in a, I am in an enclosed space with petrol fumes everywhere. Maybe it wouldn't be such a good idea after all. Um, yep, they're not in there. Now, towards the end of this episode, as we are, and I figure it's um, slightly odd, <laughs> slightly odd episode, um, let me tell you about Auntie Sophie now. Well, I've been messing around with the plugs, the coil pack and the relays and absolutely everything. It does have fuel, it does have spark, and the timing hasn't slipped. So from what I can gather, uh, it should just work. There's fuel getting into the combustion chamber. There's electricity getting into the combustion chamber. Why is it not working? Swipe up. Cancel message. Now that's a bit odd. Cylinder three sometimes fires but sometimes doesn't. So that could mean that the, that plug, that lead there might be just a bit faulty. But if it's, it's not even firing on three, that's firing on three and a half then. So it should still start. Well, that was a bit weird, wasn't it? Don't suppose she was expecting me to just suddenly stop and be walking home next to a field full of cows. And there they are. Aren't they lovely? Scary but rather magnificent at the same time. Hello cows. It really would have been fabulous to have ended yesterday's video today with a fifth car for sale, but of course that's not happening. And instead you have me going on about tripods and a broken Auntie Sophie and then walking home in the rain. That might be a disappointment for you. And if you got this far, then it probably is. Is he after me? Oi! Are you coming over here, mate? Where are you going? You can't go off the edge of there. That cow there is clearly a maverick. Look at it. All by itself. Just taking itself for a walk away from the rest of the pack. Uh, oh, they're following it now. You know, cows normally employ this safety in numbers thing. But that one, brave cow. It's got its own mind. This cow has gone off to do its own thing. This is a cow with its own mind. That's a sentence I never ever envisaged ever saying. A cow with a mind of its own. Maybe it's not really a cow. Maybe it's a uh, robot cow. Mm.